Hello friends, in this video, I will provide you the solution of NPTEL course Operating System Fundamentals the, by uh, Prof. San Shantanu Chattopadhyay IIT Kharagpur. The week 5 contents is available here and the week 5 assignment 5 is also available here. The last date of submission is 30th August 2023. So in this video, I will provide you the solution of week 5 assignment 5 of NPTEL course operating system fundamental. <coughs> the first question is choose the correct option. So the correct option is all of the above. The option E, all of the above. All A, B, C and D, all, all options are correct. Next question, which of the following operating system support kernel threads? Uh, in, uh, the correct option is option E all of the above the all the uh, operating systems supports the kernel threads that windows xp solaris uh, linux and mac os x all are support the kernel threads next question third which statement is incorrect in many to one threading model so the correct option is option d the process will not be blocked even if any user thread executes a blotting blocking system call so the correct option is option D. Next question, which statement is incorrect in a one-to-one -one threading model? So the correct option is option E, none of the above. All are, uh, none of the above is incorrect. All are correct options. Next is option, question five, which statement is incorrect in many-to-many -many threading model? Incorrect. So the correct option is option C, the process will be blocked if a user thread executes a blocking system call. Option C is the correct option. Next is, which of the following operating system supports one-to-one -one threading? So the correct option is option E, all of the above. All the operating systems are support one-to-one -one threading. Next question, a signal. Correct option is all of the above. All is correct answer. So correct option is option E, all of the above. Next question, in a multi-threaded process, a signal can be delivered to so the correct option is all of the above the a b c d all are correct e option is right next question the p thread underscore create system call so the correct option is all of the above a b c and d all are correct so option e is correct option next case for a single threaded kernel the number of system calls that can be handled by the os current concurrently is correct option is option b at most one option b at most one next question for the following set of processes scheduled using fcfs policy determine the average waiting time so the correct option is option c that 7.00 average waiting time is 7.00 similar question is given here in this question we have to determine the average turnaround time so the correct option is option c 12.66 is the toward the average turnaround time similar question is given in 13th in, in this question we have to determine the average response time so the average response time is option d 7.00 correct option is d 7.00 next question is which statement is true for a primitive scheduling algorithm so the correct option is option e a low priority process will wait if a high priority process arrives simultaneously this is the correct option option e next is the selection of a process scheduling policy affects all of the above the correct option is e all of the above so this is the solution of uh, the week 5 assignment 5 of nptel course software engineering please submit it on or before 30 30th august 2023 and please subscribe to my channel and like this video so that i can provide you the more solutions thank you